First, at 11 breaking news in Philadelphia, a deadly scene in Hunting Park where you can see pieces of a motorcycle scattered across the road. The driver of a stolen car full of teenagers crashing into the biker, killing him. I'm Sheba Russell. Right now, police are at the scene at North Front Street and East Hunting Park Avenue, and that's where our Steve Keeley is. Steve, you have some new information for us? Well, I'm going to have surveillance video of this crash, and we're going to blur it out. But before we run it, here is the motorcycle about to be towed away. And look how mangled all that metal is. And the man riding that motorcycle is legally registered. A man in his 40s was killed almost instantly, police believe, when he hit a car that ran a red light. Now, the car is a white Kia SUV that you'll see in their surveillance. And before we run the video, it was a 17-year-old male driving this stolen Kia, stolen in northeast Philly last night. He had four passengers, all teenagers. The driver was a 7-year-old male. He had one other male and three females, all between the ages of 15 and 17. This is North Front Street, where you're looking at now. And the motorcyclist ended up on North Front Street, but he is going on West Hunting Park. And Greg will pan to the left to give you a shot of how far he was thrown. So here is the surveillance. And again, we blur out the impact, but you'll see police arrive just milliseconds after. And here is the video. And so this is right after 8 o'clock tonight. And we asked police, was there a pursuit? They said that's under investigation. But they clearly knew this was being a stolen vehicle being driven at a high rate of speed and then you see police arrive two or three seconds after the accident here is inspector scott small who we spoke to just before 10 o'clock after the kia the striking vehicle and the motorcycle collided the vehicle the kia continued northbound for about a thousand feet and for some reason Kia stopped, and that's when all five juveniles bailed out on foot. The police did a great job apprehending all five of them, and they identified the 17-year-old male who jumped out of the driver's seat as the driver. Let's have the police behind me, all right? All right, so this happens, and all 17-year-olds run every different direction, and they catch some of them down here. Greg, you're going to spin around 180 degrees, and you see the police with the lights on all the way down the street. So when I get here, they have a van uh, with those all in custody down there, and they're all being questioned right now. And again, they're all juveniles, so you can bet that their parents are being called, if not already, and this is going to be a serious case for that driver who's 17 years old. And it's also going to be a question for uh, the Philadelphia police whether or not they were in pursuit of the this stolen vehicle and there's always that question that comes especially when somebody who's an innocent driver or an innocent pedestrian somewhere gets killed as a result of a potential and possible police pursuit in this case who police would not confirm on camera whether they were pursuing but you can be the judge by it on that video what you see when police arrive soon after and who knows how long uh, these people were in that stolen Kia driving that fast and that erratically and through lights. I asked if there were any other intersections that maybe they blew through red lights. Police said that is also under investigation here tonight. So, Sheba, what a sad story for the members of the family who are just learning about this victim, and they're showing up here on the scene too, which is always an awful thing to witness and maybe talk to these folks as well, which we have done. But, boy, that surveillance tells the story there, Sheba, and it's hard to watch, especially uh, when it's not blurred out as I saw it initially. So incredibly sad. Steve, I was wondering if the family had shown up. I could hear some motorcycles in the distance there. Yeah, and here's the other thing, Sheba. This guy with a flat tire just drove into this crime scene, right? And the fire department's here, and sadly, this is one of their tough jobs. They got to hose down human blood, it seems like this, right? But we had a driver, believe it or not, when there was even more police here, before they towed anything away, driving with the music player, and he's weaving between all the police cars, and they stop him, and he's got an open bottle of Corona beer, and they take him away in handcuffs, because even people are driving erratically, even around a crime scene, and around through police cars, even though their lights are blaring left and right, and there's yellow tape everywhere. All right. Never a dull moment. Steve, thank you. Yeah.